OG Albina, aka Owen, is one of the premier content creators in the draft league scene by way of engaging analysis content such as draft game reaction streams, video essays, and much more. He also happens to be the commissioner of the TGS and our opponent this week, coaching the Carolina Roaring Moon. Owen's team is very intimidating on first glance, with a plethora of setup sweepers bolstered by Sun, such as Roaring Moon, Raging Bolt, and Blaziken. We'll need to be extra careful this week when making switches into his threats. Let's see what we're bringing to get that done. Great Tusk is the type of draft league team member where, outside of its matchup being horrendous, should come to just about every game. This match is no exception as Tusk looks to take advantage of Owen's own sun to get its protosynthesis activated, increasing its attack stat. With Headlong Rush to bypass Rillaboom's grassy terrain, Ice Spinner to remove it entirely, Rapid Spin to make Tusk faster than Owen's entire team, and Bulk Up to set up alongside the physical mons, Tusk looks as threatening as ever. Moltres makes its debut this week as its speed tier, ability, and typing match up way too well into Owen's core offense. We're bringing a mixed attacking set carrying neutral or super effective stab plus coverage into Owen's entire team using just two moves, Brave Bird and Scorching Sands. U-Turn and Roost round out the set and with the exception of possible Stone Edge or Rock Slide on Blaziken, Copperaja, and Roaring Moon, Moltres should have no problem switching into Owen's physical attackers. Our next bring is Alchemy. I know it's unexpected, but looking at Owen's team, not much deals with the dual dance set outside of Copperaja, which already struggles with picking a set into Tusk and Moltres. Alchemy should have multiple setup opportunities, and if kept healthy throughout the game, should be a massive thorn in Owen's side. This is also our primary switch in to anything but Terra Steel or Terra Poison Raging Bolt, arguably Owen's scariest early to mid game threat. Alternatively, Ogre Pond, also making her debut this week, can switch in on Raging Bolt about as well as Alchemy can, as we're bringing a mainly specially defensive set this week. However, Ogre Pond will be used primarily as a switch into Owen's Primarina as a choice spec set or even just Assault Vest or Calm Mind can be very difficult for us to handle without it. Ivy Cudgel and Play Rough can handle Primarina and Bolt while also giving a strong dual offensive move pairing into the likes of Roaring Moon, Blaziken, Rillaboom, and Sandy Shocks. I'll be looking to get up a spike as well as early as possible as Owen's only hazard removal comes in the form of Torkoal. And finally, Synthesis will hopefully keep us relatively healthy all game. Weezing will be acting as a backup check to Rillaboom and Roaring Moon as Moltres and Alchemy don't want to shoulder those demons alone, seeing as they're more offensively oriented on this build. We're fully physically defensive with Rocky Helmet to punish U-Turn as well as Acrobatics from Roaring Moon. Clear Smog and Strange Steam should keep the setup threats in check, while Toxic Spikes will severely hinder Owen's ability to switch around on our offense should we have the time to get them up. Lastly, Pain Split for Longevity. Finally, our Chaladon returns this week, Rocky Terra Ghost. While weakening itself to Roaring Moon's Dark Stab, Terra Ghost allows for one thing in particular, spin blocking the Torkoal. With our Chaladon being our rocker once again this match, we're fully loaded on hazards and we intend to keep them up for the entirety of the game. One well-timed Terra into Dragon Tail turn can pretty much end the game instantly. Our Chaladon is fully physically defensive as with its moveset, there really is no other stat I'd want to be investing in. Flash Cannon does decent damage to Owen's non-resist and Protect allows us to scout choice locks or get a ton of health back while terrain is up, which only gets deadlier when you factor in stamina boosts. And that's the team. Now let's see if things played out as expected. All right, if I look scruffy at all, it's because I have, you guessed it, coronavirus. I don't feel too well. I'm hoping I can keep my composure here in this game. Having tested the matchup, I quite like it, but we are about to jump into the game with Owen, so here we go. Okay, that's that looks about right. That's that's about everything I expected. No Torkoal, which is interesting. So I'm hoping to absolutely destroy Owen with hazards here. Now let's look at his Terra type. So it's Steel, interesting. That is going to help against Al Creamy for sure, but I don't know if it's going to save him necessarily. I probably am just going to lead here with Ogre Pond into the shocks. Let's see how that works out. Sure, he didn't expect Al Creamy. I'm actually gonna mute. <laughs> I'm gonna mute spectators because I know L5 is going to say something about the Al Creamy. All right, so we got a Raging Bolt lead. Let's go for the spikes, I wanna say. Those look pretty good here. Yeah, let's just do it. He instantly Terra Steals. Goes for Draco and crits me. Amazing. All right, great start. Really good. Okay, well, let's go Tusk <laughs> since he's Steel. And uh, let's immediately go for the... I want to say the headlong rush is completely free. He does have a Rillaboom. He doesn't have any hazard removal. There is that to take into account. I could also bulk up, but I think headlong is just free. He is just going to go in Rilla. That's fine. And uh, that's going to do 19%, so he is Fizz Def, obviously. And I think we can just freely go into Moltres here. No problem. 
on the U-turn, and I'm assuming he's pads, and that's fine. Now, losing my Ogre Pawn sucks, because now I don't have a switch into this thing. It's gonna have to default to Alchemy, and that's really bad. So that crit is awful, and unless he specs that never kill. Could also go Archaladon and Terra, but I am going to go into Alchemy here. So he's going to get up a Reflect. Interesting, okay. I kind of just want to call Mind here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Goes for a Volt Switch. That does 27, which is a high roll. As we are going to get off a Calm Mind here. And uh, let's see if the Raging Bolt can break me. If it's Calm Mind itself, I don't believe it breaks me. So I'm just going to Calm Mind again. Terra Blast, then it is Specs. Okay, so I'm going to go into Moltres here. On the Terra Blast, does 38. And we are just going to U-turn here. Specs, Terra Blast. All right, Alchemy should be faster than this. There's also our Chalodon. I could get up rocks now. It's not a terrible play. I need to keep Moltres alive for the Rillaboom, that's for sure. Terra Steel, though. That means every move is resisted except for Dragon. But I can pivot on that into Alchemy and then go back to our Chalodon, etc., etc. This thing could be fast, is the problem. Let's just go our Chalodon. Let's get up Max Hazards here. We're just going to get up rocks. We'll see what this thing is. He can't trap me because I can turn into a ghost. And uh, we are prioritizing rocks here. So there's the Moon Blast, does a good amount, and uh, we are gonna protect. If I had my Ogre Pond alive, it would come in here. There's another Moon Blast, awesome. Now we can actually calc that Moon Blast damage and see how much this thing is doing to us. What's the item here? Oh, it's Quiet Assault Vest. So this thing is not quiet, it's probably Calm, uh, no special attack. So Reflect has one more turn on it. Uh, I think Tusk can win this game. Uh, I think it literally just wins. So I have to play for that end game. I could go all creamy here. I want to see how much Alcremie takes. 32 max, so we will go into it. And uh, then I have to recover. I have to OP slower and I have to go for recover. That's going to be the play. I'm shocked that Terra Blast did that much at plus one. There's the Moon Blast. We are going to recover here. The Bolt is, of course, Boots. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, I just didn't have my Spike up? Wait, hold on. Oh, the grassy terrain. Okay, this is the COVID working its magic. I think Electric Move might come out here. I will just go Archaladon, though. Does go for Terra Blast, does 41%. I'm going to protect. He has no reason not to click that again. And yeah, we're just gonna start chipping away at his team. How much does Shocks do to me if I Terra Ghost? Quite a bit. This is Booster, Timid. I'm gonna need to go into Alcremie, I think. I can also just protect here to get the extra turn. He, he does just get up Reflect if I do that, but I think that's fine. There is the Scorching Sands, so that's that's much weaker than Earth Power. 46 max, okay, so it still does kill me. I do want to keep the Steel Typing. Alcremie plus Moltres is really good, and Tusk. Like, that stops the Specs Bolt, but I have to, like, predict every time. I think Alcremie takes this no problem. Let me see. Scorching Sands does 27, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alcremie's the play. There's the Reflect, and now we are going to, I want to say maybe double? No, I think Calm Mind or Recover is just the play. Yeah, recovers just the play. His Raging Bolt's taking a lot every time it comes in. I don't need our Chalad on this game, so I can sack it off here. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, once again, he's not making any predictions. So I could protect here. I'm not going to, I'm gonna go hard Moltres on the Terra Blast so that I can roost and basically get healthy again. Here comes the Primarina, which is once again, not choice. And we are just going to U-turn here, bring back in El Creamy. As he goes for Calm Mind, I will do the same and I'm faster. Fantastic. We're gonna call mind again. I kind of want to throw out a Dazzling Gleam though, like to really get this thing low, you know? It's like, it's gonna do a really good amount to the Raging Bolt. This is a Reflect, this isn't a Light Screen. And I think I am gonna do that. Cause if he stays in, it's not the end of the world, right? I just take another Moon Blast. Maybe he crits me again, <laughs> perhaps. Now was Alcremi faster than his Raging Bolt? I don't think so, right? I'm pretty sure he needs a little bit of speed investment to outspeed Alcremi. I think I crept that. So Eric is going to Dazzling Gleam there. He is going to go for Calm Mind again. I'm going to go for Calm Mind again. And uh, there's Surf. That's Torrent Boosted. We can freely recover here. There's another Surf. We're going to Calm Mind again. There's another Surf. We're going to recover. There's another Surf. And at this point, I think I just Gleam. How much did the last one do? 24. So I think I have to go for another Calm Mind here. There's another Surf. All right, we'll recover. There's another Surf. And now we Gleam and knock out the Primarina. Okay, cool. His Bolt cannot break me now. In comes Moon. I'm going hard wheezing. As he goes for Iron Head, it does 40 and he takes Rocky Helmet. Now we will just Steam. If he switches out, he loses his speed. So plus one Tusk will outspeed him from there. And we keep our All Creamy for another day. There's another Iron Head. Does he flinch me? He does. I could go to Moltres and try to get the burn. I think that's reckless. I think that's very reckless, because like I said, I need Moltres for Rillaboom. So I'm just gonna Steam here. 
He is gonna go for Iron Head. He is going to pick me off there. We have the issue of acrobatics here. I think it is just Tusk here, unfortunately, and I will have to take an acro. Could also go Moltres and let it get knocked because he doesn't seem to have hazards. So I kind of want to go Molt from a knockoff, 51 max. That's not too bad. I think the play is to go Moltres and Roost. I think he always goes for knock here, and then the next one won't do as much. He shouldn't have a rock move. There's the knock. Do we get the burn? Nope. But that's okay because now I'm going to U-turn because now his knock does less. Acro also does less. There's the U-turn. Okay. So now, now I want to get in Tusk as to force the Rillaboom in. That is the play. And we will go Moltres 100% of the time. Try to get a burn. Flame body is just not proccing, but he can also be pads, and that's likely what he is. At this juncture, I think I am going to sack off our Chalodon, although I can still use it as a switch in here for the bolt to see what it locks into. So I think Alchemy might still be the play. I think if I get off a rapid spin at any point, he loses. Yeah, I will go Alchemy. There's the bolt switch, that's okay. That is exactly what I expected, and now we will sack Arch. There's the Terra Blast. Now we will go Moltres as we outspeed. I kind of want to go for Scorching Sands here because it's super effective into the shocks. It seems like it could be a correct play. Alternatively, I can just Roost and then Roost again on the shocks, which seems better as he will outspeed me. He'll go for the Volt Switch and then I'll still be in with Moltres. Scorching Sands is also not a bad play because anything coming in will not die except for maybe the Bolt. And if I get rid of the Bolt, then we're fine. That's the idea here is to get rid of Bolt. I think I am just going to Scorching Sands. Awesome. So we catch that turn correctly. Should he Volt Switch, he dies to Hazards. So I think the play is just a Scorching Sands again. Alternatively, I could also go Alchemy and Recover. I don't think Alchemy is winning me the game necessarily. I definitely need to keep the Moltres though. So I'll go Alchemy here. There's a light screen. Okay, so he's just literally screens with light clay. He Volt Switches out, now he dies. So I think I just recover. So he's dead. The shocks is gone. Now he has to pick a move. So I'm going to recover again, because at this point, I believe Moltres can beat everything because it has Brave Bird and is faster than Blaziken, faster than Rillaboom, faster than Bolt, and hazards are up. So I do believe that I just go for recover here. If he locks Terra Blast, like I said, I don't need Alchemy. And then I just go Moltres and I start killing the rest of his team. He probably thinks he can set up with Blaziken in front of my Moltres, but because he, he hasn't seen Brave Bird yet. And I think that's gonna catch him. What killed Moon? Moon was Moltres, fantastic, this is great. Now I just go for a Calm Mind as Blaziken comes in and now we're gonna go for Acid Armor as he goes for Overheat. Is he Life Orb? He is, wow, look at that. Now we just click Recover. No, I think we just click Dazzling Gleam. As Shox dies, now he has to go into Bolt. Should he click Terra Blast? The game is over. Now I just click Gleam and now I go to Moltres. I click Scorching Sands into Brave Bird, into Brave Bird. All right, that was super well played after that first turn crit, man. Okay, Rilla comes in, does not get burned once again. We're just gonna Brave Bird, knock this thing out. Beautiful. Blaziken comes in, Brave Bird this. If he doesn't have Protect, he's dead. Uh, I'm faster right now. So there goes the Blaziken. And finally will be the Bolt. I didn't think Moltres would get all my kills, but there you have it. There's Thunderclap and uh, Tusk is gonna get the final kill here. All right, nice, 1-0. Not a convincing victory, but uh, it didn't help that I got crit and flinched this game. My luck this season in both leagues has not been optimal, but we do come out of that with the win, luckily. A well-constructed team, very good prep, uh, as well as very good mocks from my mock partners, so I really appreciate the help, everybody. And it, it means a lot to take a win when I'm sick like this, so I appreciate that, and thank you guys for watching. As usual, make sure to go and check out my opponent in the description down below, as well as all the other coaches this season in the TGS. And uh, if you did enjoy the video, leave a like, and I will catch you guys on the next one. See ya!